Did you know that in The Hangover, the famous scene of a tiger inside the hotel room which ended up belonging to Mike Tyson is not so far from the truth. In reality, the boxing legend owned seven tigers until they were ordered to be given up by Animal Protection Services. The most renowned of his big cat companions was a white Bengal named Kenya, who lived with the boxer for 16 years. Tyson grew affectionate with the feline until she grew old and had to be given away. The same tiger also mauled a trespasser on Tyson's property. Did you know in Spider-Man No Way Home, Charlie Cox and Andrew Garfield took measures to make sure they weren't filmed together and kept their involvement a secret? They even faced the wall while eating lunch because they knew being filmed together would draw suspicion. Did you know that in Joker, actor Joaquin Phoenix is widely known for extreme methodical approaches for his roles and did not disappoint with this one either. For the menacingly captivating portrayal of the titular character, he lost 52 pounds. While one would imagine that to play such a character, there would be a world of challenges that would frustrate the actor. Phoenix claims the most challenging task to master was the Joker's signature laugh. He had to audition specifically to director Todd Phillips, just so he could get the iconic laugh right. Did you know that in Bohemian Rhapsody, Borat famed Sasha Baron Cohen was going to the film to play Mercury at one point, but dropped out because of creative differences between him and the surviving members of the band, who were consultants and producers of the film. Baron later revealed that even though the script centered mostly on Mercury's life and experiences, the band members were trying to force focus on their own lives after Mercury's passing, which Baron argued would not be very interesting for the audience. Did you know that in Fast and the Furious presents Hobbs and Shaw, the spin-off from the massively successful Fast and Furious franchise was actually never planned. It wasn't until after the release of The Fate of the Furious in 2017, directors took note of fans' admiration of the comedic chemistry between Dwayne The Rock Johnson's character Hobbs and Jason Statham Shaw. Moreover, the shooting of the film reportedly gave rise to the already growing rivalry between Johnson and Fast and Furious lead Vin Diesel. Diesel even went as far as to cut some of Johnson's scenes from the preceding Fast and Furious film. And other cast members of the franchise blamed directors for damaging the legacy of the films. Did you know in Men in Black, Linda Fiorentino won her role in a game of poker? While the story hasn't gone into great details, it goes that Linda met Barry Sonnenfeld, the director of Men in Black, at a poker tournament. As the verified story goes, Linda won the game of poker and subsequently won the role of Dr. Laurel Weaver, who later becomes Agent L and Will Smith's new partner. While it's unsure what exactly was won outside this role in the poker match, as neither the actress nor director will confirm, it's sure one hell of a way to earn a role. Did you know that the Human Torch makes an appearance in Captain America the First Avenger? A mannequin can be seen during the exhibition wearing a red jumpsuit. This is a reference to an android, the original Human Torch. He was the first hero created by Timely Comics, before they changed their name to Marvel Comics. Did you know that in The Favorite, the period drama of 2018 which saw lead actress Olivia Colman win an Academy Award was loosely based on actual events. The rivalry in Queen Anne's court between Sarah Churchill, the formidable Duchess of Marlborough, and her upstart cousin, Abigail Masham, was real. Queen Anne was in fact manipulated by her cousin's politics as portrayed in the film. Tension grew as a new member, Abigail, entered court. She offered the queen with emotional assistance, which the monarch was greatly lacking from her cousin Sarah. Their bitter rivalry ended with Sarah being banished from court and Abigail being accused of stealing shortly after the queen's death.